Hi, we're back. This is Carl Goode from uh, Michigan State University showing you how to do a tutorial on how to draw a map in Adobe Illustrator CS4. This is the fourth in a series and what I've done here is I've gone ahead and, and drawn all of everything but Wisconsin. Um, it looks like a little piece of Canada up there, but basically I have uh, drawn all of the polygons. I've drawn a lot of the islands. You can't ignore detail. Uh, if they're islands, you have to draw them in just by drawing around them. What One of the things I want to show you is that if you have a shared border, like Wisconsin has a shared border with Michigan here, uh, uh, Michigan share, down, Lower Michigan has a uh, shares borders with Ohio and Indiana, and um, Illinois and Iowa here share a border. Uh, and this is a straight border between Wisconsin. And Iowa. They share borders. You only have to draw that border one time. And what I want to show you the principle is, uh, for example, I'm just going to take the pencil tool here and. Uh, and show you this. If I if I draw, you know, something that is like a very detailed border, you can't see this, but I'm sketching around and making it. Let's say this is a country, and then you have another country up against it, or a state, or something like we'll pretend, we'll call this Barmenia, or whatever. Now this is another one, and then you're drawing all of the border and and that sort of thing. When you come up to this shared border, you don't have to try and draw right on the border like this because you'll never match it up. It looks stupid. So what what you do is this. This this polygon is going to be filled in. We'll click on the swatches here and we'll fill it in with a color. We'll make that a, you know, like a brown country. And that turned brown because this is in the foreground. My fill is in the foreground. My stroke is in the background. So that's that's a that is a shape that is on top of it's actually behind there. You see that? Because I drew that first and this came next. So this is actually uh, behind, will be behind this second polygon uh, that I'm drawing, this second country. So I'm going to just undo all of that and get it back to where it was. But we'll keep the fill in. Command Z, Apple Z undid all of that. And I'm going to get my pen tool and sort of pick up on this line here. Now, when I reach the border, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, rather than draw along, as I said, I'm going to just come back here. And just be, it just come over and meet that other line. It doesn't matter. Let's say this is now uh, this color country. Now that looks terrible um, because this is the bad border. But what I now what I do is I select this and I go to Object Arrangement Bring to Front, and there you have the two borders that line up perfectly. Now, if I want to make this a white border, what I have to do, like uh, right right now, this is these have black rules. What I have to do is select that. I need, to, I need to duplicate this line, this part of the border. So what I need to do is select this polygon, edit, copy it, and then edit, paste it in front, in front of itself, so to speak. So what I've just done is copied this polygon shape, this country, and then I pasted it in front, right on top of it. So there are two here. So if I slide this out of the way, you'll see there are actually two, two shapes there. So now that I have one shape perfectly on top of the other, um, I am going to select the top shape, go to my scissors tool, which is hiding behind the eraser tool. So if I hold the eraser tool down, there's my scissors. And I'm going to come along here and I can, you know, you want to be careful about these. You want to cut that line just by clicking on it there. Now I've cut that polygon. And now I'm going to hold my spacebar down, slide over here, and select this line again. And I'm going to select the scissors and cut right there. Now what I've done is I've cut out a piece of line that is a, um, a piece of border that is uh, no longer married to that big polygon up there. It's just a shape. It has the same fill, so it's making that odd fill. And then, of course, this is the other one from below. And there's these pieces now because I cut it all up. So what I'm going to do now is undo that and put that right back. I'm going to select this piece here. I don't know why that got cut up there. Isn't that interesting? And I'm going to, that was just something in the way I drew it. So now I have my original map with this border piece that I cut out. And now what I'm going to do is select that border piece. I'm going to give it a fill here of none. And I'm going to click on the line and give it a line of white. Um, I can fatten that up a little bit to show you. And now I have a white border with, you know, right along these. I can get rid of this black lines. I don't like to use the black lines in my shapes. I like to go, and that's how. That's how I do that. So when I come over here, um, I'm going to come over and 
draw Michigan very quickly by I want to get rid of the fill, make this a black line by clicking on the on the on the, on the line tool, the line uh, area, and uh, clicking black in that little area. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'll zoom in here, and you'll see that I can uh, click here. And I'm going to just do this very quickly because I. I would be much more careful normally drawing this coastline. Like this is actually an island in Wisconsin, but I'm going to fake it right now just for the purpose of illustration. And I'm going to come up to here. Now, when I get to this shared Michigan border, just like what I just showed you, I'm just going to go all behind here because I'm going to bring Michigan to the foreground and it'll cover this. I'm also not going to worry about the sides because I'm going to mask that off later. And I'm going to do that. Now, I'm going to color these in. This is all ready to go. I've, I've got a, all these different polygons that are the states. Um, and I'm going to stop now because what I'm going to do in, in the next section is actually color these in and show you how to um, uh, pull one in front of the other until it, it so that good borders are masking bad borders and uh, hiding them. This is Carl Goode signing off, Section 3.